Yes, uh, hi guys, welcome back again. And today I'm again on Fifth, but I thought I'll just make a video for you and I just get back to what very many people are asking a lot of questions about. So yeah, by the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give me that like. Yes, someone asked a question regarding to what we call the newborn visa. For example, you have a newborn baby, and this baby can be to a scenario or two situations. We have you have your own baby outside Qatar and you and the mother you're working in Qatar how can you bring your baby or how can you bring your baby along to stay with you in Qatar yes for this case there's a lot of things that definitely they have to consider and definitely for that there are a lot of things that definitely are not going to consider are going to consider first of all something i need to let you know if you want to bring in your baby in Qatar both of you the parents if you're working in Qatar you should have what you call a valid uh, residence permit meaning that you should have a valid residence permit both of you and still also something that definitely you need to understand is that both of you one of the requirements is both of you must have a salary that is all that's a salary of 10,000 10,000 Qataria. So let's say for example both of you you are married and when you get up to add up your salary it can give a salary of 10,000 real Someone will ask me a question again and ask me how would they verify that our salary is 10,000 real? Uh, definitely, where you, the husband is working and where you are working, you will get those uh, salary certificates from those companies where you are working. Then there will be proof that will be submitted when you are getting a visa for your newborn baby uh, to come into the country. But also something that also you should know that the baby must have what you call a valid passport. If your baby does not have a valid passport, then he cannot come into the country. He has to have a valid passport. And also, your baby must have what you call an assertive birth certificate. Remember, I talked about what you call a valid assertive certificate. Where does assertion start from? Let's say, for example, your baby was born in uh, your country, your country of origin. You need to get that birth certificate from the hospital. It will be assertive by the ministry of foreign affairs in your country then also when we look at the same copy the same copy will also come to be asserted by the embassy the embassy here in Qatar uh, that represent your country then also it will be taken to the ministry of foreign affairs for assertion then you can apply in for you can definitely now start to apply in for what for your baby to come in, into the country that's the only way that you can do then we have two situations we have another situation there are people who are inside here uh, Qatar and they would wish to get married let's say for example we want to get married but we want to as uh, we get married or when Okay, this kind of contribution, you know, after uh, and say after we produce a baby, we want the baby to stay here. Yes, remember that baby also must have what called a residence permit. How are you going to do if the baby is born in Qatar? This the baby registration uh, birth has to be registered at the women's hospital. You have to register the birth of the baby, no matter where hospital, no matter which private hospital the baby is born from, but you have to register the baby that is born in Qatar and you have to get assertion documents for the baby, you have to get a passport for the baby from your home country, then still also if uh, you have after assertion that, you have to get your residence permit as the parents must be uh, valid residence permit then you must show proof of you that you've been paid the amount of money and definitely you can begin applying for what you call a residence permit for your baby for that person who asked me that kind of question then definitely i think that's the better thing that you definitely have to do although sometimes this is a little bit very tricky because it's a little bit expensive you need to give in a lot and you need to have a job that definitely is going to give you that so probably but if you're willing you can still have to bring in your family and definitely you can also still do that and definitely be with your family at one with or pop try to share something who ask about the new born visa we call it a new born visa Oh, bringing your baby to Qatar and he needs to stay with you. And that one also a requirement as a baby also needs to have a passport and also needs to have what you call a valid residence permit because that one after completing the documents, you'll have to and to look for you'll have to apply for what you call a residence permit for the baby also to stay in Qatar. Okay? So I think the only only permit for anyone to stay in this country it must be what you call a valid residence permit that's what i have to assure you it must be a valid residence 
permit that you are supposed to have to stay in this country. It doesn't matter if a baby, if you, if a blow it in years, they must have what you call a valid residence permit. Hope I've tried to share something for you and hope I've tried to let you know what exactly it is. Thank you so much. By the way, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to support. Don't support support, support me creation. Remember, we are looking at the road to 10,000 uh, subscribers and it's only your on your effort, on, on your support. Uh, by the way, don't forget to go to the TikTok account. Also, I have a lot of interesting uh, information that I definitely need to share uh, based on the questions that people definitely have to ask and definitely I'll get you back and give you exactly that what you need. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.